So let me introduce myself a bit before we start. My name is Natalie, I'm a student at Hyper Island. During this video I'll explain how design fiction can be used as a method to inform human-centred research. Welcome to the fundamentals of design fiction, from prototypes to insights. So let's begin talking a little bit about design research. Design and design research doesn't just look at the world as it is. It looks at what it could be, imagining new futures and what experiences we want to have. If design is considered to be the creation of possible future realities, then we should consider new tools and methods to communicate what this world could be. And this is where design fiction comes in. <laughs> so let's define design fiction. The concept of design fiction is pretty simple. We create a prototype of something that doesn't yet exist and observe it within a fictional world. Bruce Sterling famously defined design fiction as the deliberate use of diegetic prototypes to suspend disbelief about change. But what does this actually mean? Under the umbrella of design fiction, the word diegetic refers to diegesis, which is a world where a story takes place. It's just a narrative. Diegetic prototypes exist within story worlds, and these worlds tend to have people at the core. By suspending disbelief, we create a rich platform for prototyping futures. Essentially, design fiction is an approach that speculates about the concept, concept designs through prototypes, characters, and storytelling. So let's look at the four Ps. For design fiction to open up areas for discussion on potential futures, it must be linked to a sense of reality. This diagram by Dunn and Raby show the areas in which these possible futures lie and what elements are needed to make a design fiction what it is. We begin with the probable future, where most design methods, processes and tools currently point towards. This allows us to de design what is likely to happen. The next area looks at plausible futures. This is a space of what could happen. It's a future that is not too far off, but requires some planning. The third area is the possible. Here we must make links between the world we live in today and the one that we dream of. When presenting possible future scenarios, it is important to have a connection with reality, creating a chain of events that could lead us to this world even if entirely fictional. This allows the viewer to relate to the scenario and open up a space for critical reflection. The final area sits between the probable and the plausible. This is where the preferable futures lie. Here is where the design fiction sits. We can open up a space for discussion and explore the needs and the impact that this may have on people and society. So let's move on to the framework. A design fiction is made up of three comp components, the narrative, the diegetic prototype and the context. First we will begin with the narrative. The believability of the story is important, creating connections to what is in the here and now and what the world could be. The characters, the environment and the fictional scenarios created within the narrative make the story a momentary reality for the viewer something they can see themselves in and guiding them through the touch points of that story. The diegetic prototype. Diegetic prototypes are key components to design fiction. They exist within a story world, usually films. This is where they come to life. They are seen as real everyday objects within that social context. They help us to imagine and tell stories about near future objects and their social influences connecting people at the centre. Next is the context. Design fiction is displayed through film. This allows for a rich and immersive contextual experience. Being able to put yourself in the character's reality and feel what they feel. To give you an example of how design fiction can be used as a research tool, we will look at the film Her. In Spike Jones's film Her, we can see that when design fiction is presented in a cinematic medium, we are able to use it as a research tool. 
by exploring the characters, the story and the diegetic prototypes that are presented in her, we are able to think about future scenarios that we may be faced with. It looks at what is love in the modern age and how does technology help or hinder that need and desire for love and to be in the company of humans. The environment of the film creates a sense of reality. Even though I can feel that it doesn't yet exist, I'm able to experience it and put myself within that world. I'm able to feel the emotions and the experiences that Theodore is faced with on a daily basis. The interior design, the fashion and the objects that create the world all make up this immersive experience. Her is ripe with diegetic prototypes. They are real everyday objects within this environment. From the device that Theodore uses to interact with Samantha and the earbud he uses to communicate with her. We can see that these are everyday objects to the characters. Everyone is using them and they fit seamlessly into that reality. This film can be used as a research tool to create a discursive space and enable us to think about future scenarios, our desires, wants, needs and problems that we may encounter in this future. How are we affected by smart operating systems that have a personality and the ability to think and interact on a human level? And what is our relationship with these devices? They seem real but they have no physical presence within society. As designers we are able to consider whether this this is a world that we really want and the impacts that it may have on a social and cultural level. Can human relationships be replaced with technology? Or will we still have the need for human companionship and interaction? We are able to reflect and consider the ethical and privacy issues to do with technology being able to read, understand and filter through our personal data. These are just some of the questions that occur. By using design fiction within the medium of film, we create a space to consider a huge range of questions and gather insights from the audience that watch these films. Let's talk about the findings and discussion points. Design fiction and prototypes can be a good way to explore the design space. Using fictional user studies as a way to reflect on this form of prototype development. The use of diegetic prototypes show a technology's need, viability and meaning. We are able to consider the social, political, economical and practical possibilities before it is considered for development. By creating a fictional world with real people, real problems and real prototypes, we are able to probe, explore and critique these futures. So let's give a summary of design fiction as a use of re research. Design fiction uses these techniques of storytelling, prototyping and visual execution to create an opportunity to consider, discuss, investigate and reflect on future possibilities. A design fiction doesn't have to be a Hollywood film. It could be a simple object framed within a narrative world that simply sparks conversation. Asking, what is the human need for this artefact? How will it impact our daily lives? What kind of experience will it give us? What are the ethical, cultural and environmental implications of this artefact? This is where the research lies, using design fiction as a method to extract these questions and find out the human insights for future possibilities. Go and explore a new way of research and let me know what your future world looks like. Thanks for listening to the fundamentals of design fiction. That about wraps it up for today. Bye!